Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I'm going to show you a very cool feature on um, your Samsung Galaxy devices. As long as you have a Samsung Galaxy device, I'm going to show you a very cool tip with the editor. Let me explain what this tip is. You'll be able to take a photo that you have and add in elements or stickers. Now, of course, most people take the standard stickers just to add like a smiley face to their photos. But today I'm going to do an advanced tutorial on stickers. Alright, so this will be an advanced tutorial for those who... Um, for those who want to know how to use the editor on their phone. Now, of course, um, one of the cool things you can do with the editor is that you can mock up things. So, for example, let's say you have a building and you want to add something like flowers. You can actually take a photo of the driveway or take a photo of the build of your house. And then you can actually add in pictures as overlays. And, of course, it will look almost surreal as if it's the real thing and it can give you a good idea. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. All right. So, the first thing you want to do with, these, uh, with this feature is yes. Um, is that you're gonna go ahead and take a photo all right so we're gonna adjust the zoom here sorry well this is fine and of course I'm gonna take a photo here I don't have a picture of a house but I'm gonna take this let's pretend this is just as is all right well it's as is but let's just pretend like it's the front of your house or something so I'm gonna use this as an example a blank slate for example let's say this is an area in the yard or whatever I'm gonna take a photo all right so as you can see here the photo is taken now, of course, this is the cool part. We can actually add stickers. So I'm going to place, I'm going to go and show you what I mean. So let's say, for example, I'm going to do a mock-up here. And I want to add in an element that was not a part of the photo. Um, it could be anything. Let's say, for example, um, we'll try something random. I'm going to go online. I'm going to get a photo. So if I go online right now. All right. So we, of course, um, let's search for something. Let's say Royal Palm. And of course, I'm just going to add a random. If I add .png, now a .png file is where the background has been removed and the file itself is the foreground. The photo is, um, okay, you can actually use regular photos, it doesn't really matter, but you'd have to do much more editing. When it's a .png, it's already um, edited for you. So I'm going to use Royal Palm .png. I'm going to go to Images, and of course, it's going to filter the photos to give me a Royal Palm png now of course as i said i did this randomly and of course here we go all right so we're going to select this royal palm here um sometimes you have to be careful some of the photos will say they are png but they are not i know this one is png as i see the checkered background so i'm going to hit this one as the option and i'm going to hit um i'm going to hit um, download image i had to do this twice because um the image before was not um accurate it wasn't a true png all right so i'm going to um, minimize we're gonna go back to the main for all right so you can do this with your fingers as well you're gonna hit the pencil icon to editor you're gonna go to the smiley face here then you're gonna go to stickers we're back on the main photo so I'm gonna use um, gonna go to editor which is the pencil icon and then I'm gonna hit stickers I've shown you that before so I'm gonna go to stickers notice these were not these were the batch ones they weren't real true PNGs Notice there's no background on these, so that's what you want. If this happens, it means that you need to remove the background. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to select the Royal Palm. Notice the background. Don't need to select anything. It's already selected. Ah, this is perfect. I could choose a color, but I'm not going to use a color. Do not trouble anything. It's done. There you go. Check this out, guys. So this one is perfect. So um, in case you get it with a white background, it wasn't done properly. Um, you need a PNG file with the background removed. And as you can see here, guys, check this out. I can scale up, see that, and notice here, I've placed the file, I can reverse the image, like flip it around, alright, I can copy it, notice I have two, and I can turn this one around, so you see, I'm able to move the elements around, alright, so you get the idea here, so check this out, so now I had a photo here that had not um, it didn't have anything in it and I had a two natural looking coconut trees. So you do get the idea. This is almost Photoshop level Once you know how to manipulate the software um, Do note as we were saying if you mess up and you get a white background It won't be transparent. You need it to be a PNG file You'd have to edit the file remove the background or of course get a file already to save trouble That was neatly edited and you can find those online. Um, be careful of copyright as well I'm just using this for um, explanation purposes all right, so you see the idea here, and I could even add one of my other stickers that I was showing you from before. All right, so let's say, for example, this spotted plant right here. So you see my plants there? 
this is something I got online check it out so if I wanted to I could place this in the photo you can see now I have additional and you can tilt it just right all right so you see here this photo now as in additional plants and if you aren't looking carefully it would be very difficult to tell that this was not a natural part I could add people I could add a car I could add several things into a photo just using the built-in photo on the phone so this is a real advanced tutorial in terms of anything and stickers are unlimited you can go back into stickers sorry you can go back into stickers and of course you can um, add a lot and these are all mine I have added a bunch of them and as you can see there's a whole bunch of them here um, you don't want the situation where the background is black notice when the background is white it does give you this messed up effect because you want the background to be transparent so I did show you the right way and what a messed up version in, just in case you're into this because chances are eventually you might try this and say it doesn't work but it does work it's just because you need to remove the background so this one was a botched sorry a botched one because of the photo wasn't right all right so you get the idea here all right so you do get the idea now so um as i was saying earlier um what can you do with this like photoshop you can add elements it could be a person you could add a person a photo that was not there you can take a picture of someone you can edit the background on them around them or you can have the person stand against a perfectly green wall it's easier to edit that way or a perfectly white wall it doesn't really matter the color it will make it easier to to select um i could show you how to edit out a background but as i said just use a selection tool um highlight and delete but save yourself some time and find a perfectly edited photo already online it's much easier especially when you're doing something general like this so if it was your house you can see what type of palm you want to run and kind of um kind of um set up your ideas right i use this to to see what something might look like it could be a color something you want to add to a building something you want to add to a room it doesn't matter you can use the editor this way and of course you can use the touch up your photos or add stuff in your photos maybe you want to hide something in your photo but it wasn't taken perfectly you can add an element in the photo and of course it will turn out like this when you're finished it save once you save it will add the um save the, the the edits i do hope i don't have to go into every last detail and show you everything and you do get the idea as to what the editor is capable of so this is one of the things that your device is capable of that you might not know so as you can see here this is the finished photo you could send this to someone and as you see it looks kind of um, nice all right so any tutorial here i hope you enjoyed and as always ricardo from blog tech tips same bye until next time bye